Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be going over my Lifetime Tamarack Pro Angler, the 103. I got this in my favorite colors, blue and orange. I am a Chicago Bears fan, so I was pretty excited to see that. You can see uh, right away I've got all my stuff put on there, the way that I fish it, the way that I like it. I don't feel like I have too much on there. I keep the boat fairly light. It's easy to paddle. And uh, let's get right in. So. Right away, you're gonna see the yak gear, anchor trolling. I have this mounted up. I got it on Amazon. I think I got it for somewhere around $34. Um, since this does have the insert where you put your paddle on either side, right here, people are gonna have a lot of questions about that, but I haven't had any issues with this yet so far highly enjoying it i will say for anybody who's new to kayaking anybody who knows um what end of the wind fishing is what away from the wind fishing is highly recommend setting this anchor trolley up maybe front to back that's the only thing that i regret not doing it does the job but i wish i would have set it up front to back thinking about putting it on the other side so how i have my anchor trolley set up is with this anchor right here. I've got a little old Folgers container that I screwed in there. And then I have your, some sort of carabiner. I don't even know what it's called. Just know how it works. Slip that down through, clip this up, and I tie it off, basically. And then I can slide this back and forth fairly easy and then this just goes right back into place so I don't have a mess I'm pretty sure I picked that clothesline hanger that retractable clothesline hanger up at Menards for I don't know like 20 bucks and I went to uh, my local grocery store uh, not a big box grocery store to pick up that milk crate got it for free so they are out there you can get them for free um, I only have three small tackle boxes in there. The most important thing though is the water. I know it sucks you're gonna be out on the water all day, but you gotta have your water. Basically have my soft plastics all set up in here. Um, more of a wacky worm kind of fisher. So I've got my hooks in there, a bunch of worms. The worm, this right here, this is pretty cool. I got this off of Amazon too. This basically puts little little rings around your worms has you fishing all day not too bad and I got my spinner baits and some hard baits that's about it in there in this backpack just a couple towels because it does get wet um, I do like this in particular uh, kayak I was looking for this one. I actually ended up buying the Teton at first and uh, found this one and bought this one as well. So now my wife has the Teton and we'll go over that another day. The thing I like about this one is the fishing poles in the back here. They actually are angled up a little bit more. On the Teton, they're a lot wider. Didn't really care for that. This is where I keep my uh, paddle it is the pelican angler picked it off of amazon pretty nice um it's got like a soft soft rubberized feel to it and sorry i do have my it's like a dry storage box i put it on the side otherwise the boat tips and i wanted to have this uh sitting flush for the video sorry i'm kind of at an angle but normally that sits right up there I keep my phone in there, a couple of other items, and when I am out fishing, got my pliers, a couple extra carabiners, some lures, I kind of throw what I'm not using in there. So, so if I'm swapping out lures or anything like that, I cut them off, I throw them in there. I've got this little leash system with some fingernail clippers. Um, I have chipped a tooth by uh, taking off the 
fishing lures with the line and that's not fun it sucks so i wouldn't recommend doing that and then i seen this on youtube as well it's basically a two by four that i cut the size it raises this up so you're gonna have a lot of room in there and i don't know i kind of like it i might have went too high with it i would suggest for a lot of you guys if you're afraid of like tipping over which i haven't done yet is to just cut it down maybe halfway that's probably what i'm gonna do it's a lot more comfortable that way or at least i'm assuming and then i've got another water bottle up here and i like that so i'm always keeping myself hydrated i do like the having the i do like having the water i try to drink a gallon a day i do lift a lot of weights so but yeah keep my huck boots up front got all my reels my loose lined up there and they're ready to fish uh, let me know if you want me to go over anything else and I can um, let me know if you have any tips tricks or ideas something that you guys are doing what I would like to do is figure out what I can put underneath that seat to make it more useful one of the bigger things I like about this over the Teton is the 300 pound weight limit. Like I said in the last video, I'm about six foot, 210 pounds. And uh, I don't know how much weight all this stuff adds, but I get around the water pretty good. I haven't tried standing up in it or anything like that. Don't trust myself, to be honest. I can swim, but don't really like to get wet. Um, but yeah, guys, I think if you're considering your first kayak, this is my first kayak, I would highly suggest trying to find this Lifetime Tamarack Pro. It's a sweet kayak. It's got everything. I love that it's got the dry storage. That's one of the coolest things. Thinking about adding another one, but I don't think I'm gonna have to. Like I said, I'm kind of a minimalist. I don't need a lot of stuff to go out. I'm just going out to basically get time away from people and work you know yeah if you do have an old t-shirt at home just uh or a red one or some sort of flag just rip it off keep it there i think that's how my uncle has his jackson kusa set up but i don't have jackson kusa type of money maybe if my youtube blew up i don't know We'd see, right? But yeah, guys. I'm sure this is not going to be my last video. I, like I said, I'm going to do a comparison video between this and the Teton. And how I've got my wife's set up. And uh, please like and subscribe below.